I mentioned recently, didn't I, that coilovers were on their way for Project 996. Here they are, behold the KWV3s. I'll let you know what difference these make to the car in a future video, but for this video, we've got something very special. We're going backstage at KWUK to show you how these very dampers are made from scratch. Okay, so this is Rich from KWUK. I'm absolutely buzzing to get these on Project 996. You guys are twin tube, other aftermarket brands are monotube. What's the difference? It's very technically focused on a twin tube damper. It does give you lots of more advantages or lets us be more flexible than like on a mono tube. Um, with our variant three, of course, it's independently adjustable from rebound to bump. And when we're assembling, you'll be able to see a little bit more of the uh, bump valve in the bottom. These are the fronts. Uh, shall we build some rears in the 996? Yep, let's build the rear. These parts here, uh, they are all the parts for, to build your rear damper, basically. And believe it or not, they're not clean. So that, that's where we're gonna start. The parts go into an ultrasound cleaning machine for around 10 minutes before they're blown with an airline, cleaned again with brake cleaner, and airlined one last time. With twin tube dampers, you need to be fastidious with cleaning. There's a lot of drilling and holes, particularly on the valves and foreign objects. Even a molecule of dust will partially block the hole and not allow oil to flow through. So clean equipment is crucial. With cleaning taken care of, Rich assembles the V3's oil reservoir internals by inserting and then sealing a bladder within it. So that's the reservoir now assembled. Just going to pop it up. So this oil is going to basically flow around that black bladder we put in there. Mm -hmm. you, see, you might not be able to see it in the camera. You see down there there's a drilling that goes across. So that drilling goes across into the reservoir we'll and fills and up with oil. So we have to prime this manually so we get some oil around it. All the internal parts are now clean. We're going to assemble the, uh, the bump valve, which is the bit that's really special. Um, you know, the, the way the oil flows through the inner tube and then through into the bump valve. Um, is what uh, is kind of special for our twin tube variant 3 system. Um, it has a special uh, blow off valve also in, in the uh, bump valve, which basically allows, you know, if you were to run a curb or get on a curb, which creates a lot of high forces through the damper, the uh, blow off valve allows the uh, valve to open and bleed the fluid or the oil back through uh, both chambers. Install that now into the inner tube. There's not a lot of science behind that. The tube's going to go in. So you've got the inner, inner tube now is in the main housing. And we're just going to put these little spaces. These are rebound spaces that go over the piston rod. So this limits the travel of the the piston rod in, in the rebound. On the 911, does that vary from model to Absolutely. model? Absolutely. There's all the different <laughs> sizes of rebound spaces. The next thing to do is going to fill the inner tube with some oil. So this is a special damper oil mixed. I think this may have been changed, but it was originally mixed by Esso. We're going to put, I think it's 290 milliliters of oil in there. Our bill of materials or drawing will tell us exactly how much oil your damper takes. So none of it's, you know, give or take. Again, like with the cleaning, yes. massively important that the oil's clean. We would have poured it from a bigger tank, which had a, has a filter in, through into here, which also has a filter in. So I like to kind of fill up first the inner tube, and I'll grab the piston rod, and then we're gonna put this in here. Push it all the way down to push all the oil out. It's all the way down. So you'll see now that the oil's coming up from the outside, and we're all, we're now past this level here. So I just want to just prime it a little bit now and get some oil. So, there's all our oil in now. So this is the uh, piston rod guide. And that's going to sit. O-ring next. I call it a top hat. 
Cool. Now, another important bit is the main shaft seal. So this is the the all important thing that keeps your oil in. Um, I guess it's also uniquely designed for KW. It's a triple seal. With the damper assembled, it's closed and torqued to 130 newton meters. Okay, so that's now built. The next bit's quite technical. We're going to now fill the bladder with nitrogen. The bladder is charged to five bar before the damper can be tuned to KW's factory specified settings, which are unique to each specific model of 911. So we always have a base setting. We deliver the, the dampers with a base setting on bump and rebound, and that's also the base setting. We will test them in the dyno. Six, seven, eight, bump. One, two, three. Now we've built it, we're going to see how good our build was in the dyno. The dyno is important. Not only is it the final rigorous check, but KW keeps this information for each specific damper on file, so that if the damper needs rebuilding in the future, for example, it can be compared to original spec. Because we've done a really good job, we can put a sticker on. <laughs> so you can do that bit. The sticker tells KW who built it, when and what production line it went down, which is again handy for future reference. And now for final assembly. We start with a one-piece composite spring perch, which is unique to KW. Its composite construction stops it from seizing in harsh conditions, though it does have a metal insert for robustness and longevity. Then the ventilation cap goes on, which keeps out the dirt, followed by the bump stop and dust cover, which limits the travel of the damper, and then the main spring, followed by the intermediate ring, then the helper spring, that's then followed by a concave washer, and then the upper spring seat and washer. And that's now assembled and ready to go. That is the, the finished masterpiece that Rich has put together for us. Loads learned, particularly with regards to componentry and numbers of what goes into this. There can be as much as 25, 26 components just in the bump valve. You know, so there, there's a lot of components inside the twin tube damper. Well, I like to look at it as like a switch swatch. How important is quality control? It's very critical that things are put together correctly. You know, that it's a clean environment. Um, everything has to be stamped off and meet those requirements uh, on the dyno at the end. The kits are different, aren't they? And tailored specifically for each 911 model. The axle weights could be different. There could be different options. There could be different wheel options. You know, on a turbo, there's a lot wider wheel. Uh, on the back um, and obviously the weight of the engine can be different. All of those models uh, they have to be brought into house and are indeed. But how do you test that between, for example, a C2 or a turbo, which is heavier, four wheel drive, etc.? We have uh, Thomas Verst in our R&D department and a lot of it's done by his bum. You know, we have a seven post rig and data is taken from there. You know, you can have all the machines in the world, but what's important at the end of the day is how does it feel to the customer? All right, well, I mean, you know, I've told you many times before, I really rate your product. I'm even more in love with it now. I've seen how it's made, and I say help make it. I'll put the sticker on. <laughs> but that's. Well, it's also uh, an yeah. <laughs> well even, even that's a little bit wonky, but it's fine. But Richard, I'm, I'm so chuffed that you've shown me and everyone like how this is done and just kind of what goes into a KW coilover. So I'll get these on the car and, uh, and give a report as to yeah, how we absolutely. get on, on the road. Yeah. The KWs come with a toolkit containing an adjustment spanner, rebound adjuster, an installation guide and an adjustment manual. And that's it. My KWs have been built from the ground up. Next step is to get them on Project 996.